Hey everybody, this is Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. And this is um, the video for the Sweet Treats collab. And this is a video that um, is hosted by Tanya, who is Memory Lane Keepsakes. And every month on the 30th, we put out a project with a theme um, that she gives us, but we have to incorporate of course sweet trees so this is for the month of October and our theme was of course Halloween or we could have did the breast cancer awareness project so I chose since it was so late in the month I've already did my um, breast cancer awareness project so I am going to share Halloween. So, what I did, well, before I get started, there is a, about 10 of us that is participating this month, I believe, but if you go to the description box, they will all be listed, and so you can go from channel to channel and check and see what everybody else did, okay? So, for this month, I made some sweet treat boxes okay and these are the boxes that I made and they will house a sucker which is what I used or you can put you know little candies in it whatever you want to do I just chose to put these suckers so all I did is made the box and just tied some um, twine around it and I just I did go ahead and layer my boxes because it just gives it a little bit more um, decoration and on this one I just put a sticker on the front there so that is one okay here is another one that I did and this one just has a little cut apart from the paper pad and it says trick or treat and then I just layered um, you know the box all the way around okay so that one is says trick-or-treat and then this one here is another one so I did all of the boxes the same layered them up this one I just put a pumpkin sticker on it and then here is another one so this one right here is um, a cut apart that I just cut out the um, pumpkin patch word I put a little candy cord sticker down here two little stars at the top so you can dress them up as much or as less as you want to because they're still cute okay this one I actually ink the edges of the paper so ever how much or less you want to decorate it's up to you so I did that one. Now I actually have two more here. But as you can see, Grandbaby snuck the suckers. So he got me for my suckers out of these. So these, this is why these are not tied up. But it's a good thing because I can show you. I'm going all the way around again. I didn't do pattern paper on the bottom. But on the inside, I did put just some little fun shred on the inside um, and that's all you gotta do you don't have to put it I guess depends on how much candy you want to put so that is another one there and then this one here I just used the stickers so I put a little ghost the candy corn and a little bat up here and then this one has the all of them has the shred in it so yeah, that is my sweet treat project for this month of October. So I thought these little candy boxes turned out really good. I didn't do a whole lot of Halloween this year, um, especially, you know, with candy. Um, in my neighborhood, we really don't have trick-or-treaters that come by. We may have maybe four if any so I really don't do too much um, 
for Halloween here because it's just not enough, you know, of kids that come by. And it's I'll probably end up, you know, giving some of these to my sister or maybe um, let grandbaby, you know, get the suckers out of the rest of them. And as far as kids in the family, my grandbaby is the youngest and he's two. Other than that, everybody else is grown. There's not really a lot of kids. So, in the family right now. So, yeah, so I didn't do a two... I didn't do too much. I just have nothing to, I have nowhere for them to go. So anyway, that is my sweet treat projects. Um, I thank you all for watching. Make sure you go check out the rest of the ladies and they will be listed in the description box. And yeah, and I will see you all in my next video.